Hello everyone and welcome back. First things first, let's check the mirror. Nothing to do here. Now I do believe that we're going to be unlocking Exagriff. So Exagriff is the gun. I'll show you what I mean. Exagriff, the rail of adamant. Annihilate all who oppose me. So you can shoot, you've got limited ammo, and then you need to reload. Fortunately, you can reload automatically, but you can also force a reload by clicking the right stick. Your special is a mortar. And that is very helpful. This is actually a pretty good weapon. I don't particularly like the game feel of it, but I've got to admit it is, uh, it's pretty nasty. Uh, once you get a few boons on it especially, uh, it's, uh, it's quite... There's a lot you can do with it. Uh, we might try forcing a few boons this run, so let's see what the keep says. We can force Athena. I definitely don't want. So we'll go with the Chthonic coin purse, uh, which is nearly at full level, and start out with a bit more money. You're not to speak of that accursed Mount Olympus in this household, do you hear me? Nor shall you invoke the names of its inhabitants. You mean the Olympians? Uh, okay, let's see. Last I know the gods more than by name. Ares. Mm, not a great pick for this weapon, but... And the special inflicts doom could work. Anything I'm using the special on, and you know, I can probably afford to have a doom on there as well. That's quite nice, and it's rare. So... Ooh, one or t'other. I'm going to go with this one. Just for those who aren't familiar with it. And then we can finish them off with firepower. So it's quite a low risk weapon. Um, the other thing it's, you can do with it is it's quite easy to get backstabs. Um, you can dash attack with it quite generously, so it's pretty easy to get uh, that backstab damage in. The bombard is tricky to use right. You've got to use it against slow moving enemies and obviously preferably against groups. But uh, it is very helpful. Uh, ooh, Poseidon could work wonderfully with this weapon. Uh, or could he? Hmm, not so sure about that now that I've said it. I'm gonna go with Poseidon. Uh, let's find out, one way or the other. Okay, so this is an area where the special might be helpful, but obviously only once the enemies start congregating. Also, because of the fact that these things dash, they do have a tendency to move out of the way. It's another favourite tactic, dropping a bombard on a spawn. You've got to time it just right, but if you can do it, it's always very uh, satisfying. Okay, Poseidon is one that I actually use quite often in my build, so I'm going to give him some nectar. That'll get me Poseidon's keepsake, which will help me try and force Poseidon boons on later runs. I thank you, Uncle. And what's he going to give us this run? Special deals more damage and knocks foes away. Yeah. Let me try. This can work quite nicely because if, when you're gaining more darkness with the mirror bonus that gives you healing when you get darkness, it means bonus healing as well. So this is actually quite a good boon in the later game. In the early game, though, it's mostly just if you're doing a run to try and get resources. Uh, yeah, just the special. Okay, do I want to replace the nectar supply or get some gems? Let's replace the nectar supply. We need to start trying to get some more of these uh, keepsakes. Ooh, there's a fishing spot. Come on. Damage output is fine with Exagriff. It's not great, but uh, you've got to get used to factoring that reload time into how you're working out your DPS. There are a few uh, Daedalus hammers on the Exagriff, which can be really helpful. Things like it gives you bonus magazine capacity, Perfect. but also uh, bonus firing speed. Come to me, fishies. You gotta wait until the thing actually goes down under the water properly and then hit the right bumper, just like that. Looks like a knucklehead. Okay, anything else in this room? No. Extra health it is. I'm not going to turn my nose up at that. At least one on the uh, first floor, I think, is, is warranted. If only because you'll probably need it in the later game. Let's 
still can't resist the urge to charge in. And that is helpful to an extent, because despite the fact that this is a gun, I think its range is about comparable to the spear. I think you can also get some uh, Daedalus Hammer upgrades for range. Anything down here? Nope. Okay, so darkness. And by extension, a bit of healing. Okay, these are elite, so I've got to treat them with respect. There we go. I managed to use the special to good effect there and uh, get some knockback damage. Oop, that was close. I very rarely use the manual reload, I tend to find it's easy to just keep shooting and then occasionally dash because Zagreus will automatically reload. Okay, the POM works, um, haven't got any trash boons that I don't want to upgrade, so I'm not going to complain too much about getting a POM. You guys aren't too bad, but uh, you got to respect the range of their charge. Tag a mischief there, tag the other one. Just keep going. Oh! Quite get my uh, jinking and weaving right there. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Stronger still. It's a pretty significant upgrade in terms of damage. Ooh, okay. You again? You really like being on this channel, don't you? I'm going to mix in the special here and there just as a means to crowd control the oop, uh, little ones. This is precarious. It just became untenable. I should get a few. Really difficult to get the uh, hexagriff or adamant rail or whatever you want to call it to actually shoot at what you want sometimes. Let's start getting the casts in, see if we can improve the DPS options a bit. There we go. Need to remember I've got them. Let's see. You blundered head. Uh, your attack is stronger. I mean, I want something a bit more than just my attack has a bit more damage, and crit doesn't count, but this I don't value much. Uh, I mean, I'm dash striking a lot, so we'll go with that. Okay, Sisyphus. What am I going to want from him? Obols, Darkness, or Heals? Uh, I'm going to go with Heals. And you know what? Because you're not guaranteed to appear on every run, I'll give you this nectar that I found. Have some booze that I found on the floor. She is. Come on. Okay, healing. I'm thinking probably healing. Yeah, healing. It's all yours. There we go. Okay, key. I'm not going to complain about getting a key. It's still helpful. Even if only for trading to the wretched broker. Well, there are still plenty of things we can unlock with keys. On my main run, they're starting to be a little less useful. Oh, you can also respec your uh, XP spends in the mirror for one key as well. I don't think I've ever mentioned that. I don't think it's going to be relevant. But uh, there are a few things I'd like to get my darkness back with. But you know what? Some, once I've spent the darkness on something, I'm going to spend it all at some point anyway, as long as I keep playing the game. So I don't see much of the point in getting the darkness back. Just do a couple of runs and probably afford it. Whatever, whatever it is that I want. There we go. Much ado about key. Hmm, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'll take a few uh, gems. Ooh, do I want to take an infernal trove? I've got a good amount of money for visiting Karen's shop right now. I'm thinking no. Depends what kind of trove it would be, but you don't get to pick that. Getting very close to Siphony. Poseidon and Artemis. Okay, that could work. Or shop. I'm thinking Poseidon and Artemis. 
We've already got one uh, boon from each, so let's see if we can't get some internal synergies going. Uh, Artem, uh, poo, yeah. Poseidon's a pain in the backside to dodge, so I'm going to pick him. Yes. Your attack deals more damage and knocks foes away. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, just check the others first, just in case. No. I mean, that is kind of fun, but that's more generally helpful. Why would you side? You had to choose. She can't stay mad for Okay. Just take this slow and take this steady and easy. Minimum fuss. Just keep moving when you're in a danger zone. There's no rewards for speed. You can't afford to lose health after you just got a bunch off Sisyphus. Come on. Not the ones I wanted to target, but it's too far. Out of here before the arrows start flying. Oop. Yeah, noticed it just when it was too late to do anything about it. Not yet. Can't stay in one place too long. Again, casts. Let's go with casts as a means to get a bit more damage going on. They're elite, so I can't just bully them and stunlock them. I've got to move around and dodge. But I do think I need to be focusing my fire a little bit more. Come on, there we go. Because if I focus my fire too much, I sit still, and if I sit still, I get shot. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that was awful. That was absolutely awful. It took a long time and took a lot of the damage. This is why I generally just try to beat these rooms as quickly as possible. Uh, a call would not be bad. Um, but it's again, it's synergizing with crit chance, which I don't really want. This is alright as a supporting boon, but I'm probably going to end up washing it away. Better hide. Survival room. Just have to survive. But again, the key element of surviving is not letting the enemies pile up too much. You can't afford to take damage like that. Stay out of the fray. We've got a ranged weapon. Use it as a ranged weapon. No, not what I wanted to target. Time to get out. It's just getting dicey over there. Some casts. Quick. Go with special. Oh, for his you spoon. For his you spoon. That's a lot of skulls. Huh, useless. Right, coin. Excellent. Right, so next up is going to be. The fury fight after these and I really want to visit the shop for a heal but on the other hand I want to get a Daedalus hammer for this thing because it can I feel like I haven't got a build yet I haven't got a strat I've just got some boons so maybe it'll cost me a life it probably will cost me a life but I'm gonna go hammer Uh, your attack seeks the nearest enemy. No. His special powers a spread of five bombs. No. Yeah, there we go. I was talking about that one earlier. Like so, much higher rate of fire. Bigger magazine. Yeah. Even if that ends up costing me a life, I think in the long run it's going to mean that the, the run is more likely to succeed. Electo. And we get Electo. Oh, finally. If you're no god, you're nothing but a piece of trash. Oh, you're up there with Theseus. You seem to have me off. Best dialogue ever. Cheeky damage still works, even if it's not against Meg. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's much better damage output. Yeah, needed that hammer. And I think that was definitely the right call. Let's 
was going to say, I want to try and avoid it costing me a life, but... Right, it can cost me a life. I do not want it to cost me multiple lives. Even if it's Electo, who is pretty tough. And the Furies aren't markedly more difficult than each other, but... Okay. Yeah, she's pissed. Just gotta... Again, not be too passive. Play a bit more. Oh, there we go. Now she's back again. Pile on the damage. Difficulty keeping track of where she is with everything going on on screen. Oh, there we go. That was tricky. Um... That was really tricky. See you later. Nevertheless, got the Titan blood. Before long we'll be able to actually start unlocking some of the different aspects of these weapons. Enjoy the searing heat of Asphodel. Right. And we didn't really get a chance to cash that in much. Uh, but we've still got the coin, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's see, what do I want for Asphodel? Something I want to level up or something that will help me survive a bit. Let's go with the Harpy Feather Duster. Uh, we'll level that up a bit and I'll make sure that hopefully when we come out of this level going into the Hydra fight we've got plenty of... Oh, there we go. Cash that in. Yeah, when we go into the Hydra fight we've got plenty of health. And I'll take a rare boon as well. So I've not really got a strat with this build yet. Uh, supporting fire, that's actually doing some work because Exegriff is such a rapid hitting weapon it produces a lot of arrows. So I'm actually going to keep that and maybe even make a point of trying to upgrade it. This I'm not sure about. I'm not using it, but I don't particularly like this one. I'm used to using the cast as a means of doing damage directly to enemies at a distance rather than creating an area of denial effect. So I am going to get rid of that. It's a rare boon, so it doesn't feel particularly good, but I think I can do better. Good. Let's not figure out what that is. I think I'm getting close to unlocking it on my main save file, but... Okay, gems up first. problem with these smaller, more sort of islandy bits in Asphodel, because making sure you don't end up standing in the lava. There we go. Not a great first level, but not my worst. So POM up next. Let's see what that gives us. There's, there's stuff in here I definitely want to get uh, spend a POM on, so... I'm not going to complain about getting a POM. I can't think of anything else I would like other than uh, some boons that might make this build work a bit more. I, I'm thinking maybe... Um, I don't think that the arrows that you get as the bonus projectiles... And the Athena boon, you can see the ones that are firing at me every time I hit. I don't think that those are affected by her crit synergies. So it might, whatever it is, it might not be crit synergy. Focus more on Zagreus and avoiding these things. They're very aggressive. Down, so now I can focus down that guy. Like an onion. If you don't attack it right, it'll kill you. Strike. A straight damage upgrade would be nice. Dash strike deals more damage. More damage on those arrows. Ooh, we'll go with that for now. Got some zest. I don't see anything else on this world. And I can't be asked going all the way back to check. Uh, let's see. Shop or... Darkness. I'm thinking shop. Need a heal. Not done very well since I got into Asphodel. Okay, there's that heal I wanted. There's a quarter pom. The quarter pom upgrades one thing at random. You don't get to pick it. 
So yeah, we'll go with the heal. Quarter palm. Tempest flourish. Okay, so that's the special. That's now even more pokey. Thank you very much, Caron. Okay, restock gold. I'm not going to cry over not getting the Athena boon. I like Athena's dodge in pretty much any build, but uh, ultimately I'm not going to spend 150 gold just on the off chance of getting it. Very rare manual reload there. I think there's some anti-synergy going on here. Um, Poseidon's boon does knockback, and that knockback is pushing enemies out of my effective range. So I have to keep dashing into them. And I think that is what is causing me to take so much damage. Yeah, I think I didn't really account for how Poseidon's knockback boons would make this behave. And I'm paying for that. Let's see, I've, re I've recognised the problem now. What can I do to salvage it? I still need these. I could get rid of the boon. Um, I don't want to get rid of the boon. But I can't think of what, I what else I can do gameplay-wise to compensate for that pushing them beyond my max range effect. Because it's fine when you've got a weapon that you can follow them with, but when you're shooting the Exegriff you can't move outside of dash attacks. And that dash attack interrupts your attack sequence, and that can leave you vulnerable, and yeah, the game feel doesn't really play to it. So I'm going to get rid of it. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. But, so Poseidon, Athena, or Ares. Ares would be fine to get Doom on my main attack if I could then get the boon that lets you stack Doom tokens for additional damage, because that... But again, that's re that's pushing for two boons. Athena, I don't think, has anything that's going to be really helpful. I mean, her, your attacks do deflect might be helpful in a few pinch situations. Poseidon, no. Yeah, I think it's Ares. We'll see what we get given, but... Yeah. So we had a strat. The strat no longer works. It sounds like the opening to a really bad pop song. Oh, I hate this room. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Sod this run. This run is now officially over. I am just going to try and experiment with this room. I mean, you can't really bullet dodge. There's just too, there's too much going on. That is not viable. How about attacking then? Cover. Use cover. The issue is that they just they don't need line of sight, they don't need anything, they can just stand there, the AI will automatically keep them moving into a place that's pretty much impossible to get to them at effectively. So what about... I mean, I think pumping the special is the only way that uh, I'm ever going to get anywhere with this. Because the problem is, again, they're elite, so you can't stun lock them either. Uh, I lose so much health on this room every time. And whether or not I come out of this room having lost only a little bit of health or a huge pile of health is entirely dependent on my build, not how I'm handling the room. So, maybe I'll throw in an extra run today to make up for this, but... I need to get a better idea as to how to handle this. I mean, I know now what I'm up against. They all gather in the middle, they start spamming their AoEs, and there's nothing you can do once they do that. Once they do that, you need some sort of breaker, because you can't leave them like that. If you leave them like that, you're just going to take loads of damage. But if you head it towards them, you're going to take damage. So, hmm. Didn't die, but did take another... Well, it did die, but I've still got another... Well, I, well, on my last life. No, no. All useless. Kill or be killed. Okay, so Ares did not come through for us. Uh, key next. 
the other room I have trouble on in uh, Elysium, that uh, room with the two bridges. But yeah, that witching room, man. That witch room. I don't know what it is about it yet. I don't know where, but something in it just does not mesh well with the way that I play the game. I need to adapt. Uh, it's obviously how you deal with it to a degree is always going to depend on what equipment you've got but if you can identify some sort of strategy that only uses your fundamentals then you can then adapt that to the strategy that you get from the boons that you're using so something some sort of basic idea and the basic idea is probably splash damage to the middle I know that the Stygius special can clear projectiles. I'm thinking maybe other weapon specials can clear projectiles as well. So if you can clear projectiles, that's a way to aggressively advance towards the center once they start congregating. Or maybe you just don't let them do that at all. Maybe you keep moving around the edges, but occasionally fire into the middle to force them to scatter a bit, prevent them congregating too much. Uh, you're going to risk a lot of time in the lava there, though, which, you know, I don't have a great track record with. There's nothing else here, is there? No. So, shop or health? With this amount of money, shop. I'll just buy everything that's in there. Right now, I need stuff. Just any old thing will do. Good. Hey, it's me again. Uh, a cast... Call, increase damage. None of this is helpful. Uh, we'll go with the call because eh, at least it's something. I'll take this. Palm, dash strike deals more damage. Call fires. Yeah, you would put it all on Artemis, wouldn't you? The most useless one in this build. Uh, your call fires an arrow seeking. Yeah, well, no. Go with that one. Not feeling good about this Hydra fight. I don't think that this run ever really got together with a coherent strategy. I sort of lent hard on the Poseidon knockback thing, and that did not work out. And I haven't had enough time or opportunity to transition into another build. But hey, that's the way things go. It's not like it was the game's fault. I made all of the decisions, and I made all of those decisions with perfect information. I just did not pass that information correctly into consequences. And who hasn't done that? What I can do, however, now is give it the best and put on a show. Stage what two down, stage three begins now. Then stage four. The worst stage of all. Use the call to get a little bit of extra damage in, just try and again get through this fight as quickly as possible. Whoa. Exagriff is a gun. Exagriff is not a ranged weapon. These two things are true at the same time. Okay. Focus. Excellent. That one as well. A little bit more space to breathe. Spawners are starting to get out of control. We need to do some crowd control. Incidental damage from the arrows is helping. Oh, 
we go, another one down. Oh boy. Is that all of them? No, there's one more over here I thought there was. Now that's all of them. Let's try and, yeah, I was hoping to get rid of him. This is usually the easiest stage, but obviously with its increased speed, the Linnaean Hydra can really ruin your day if you're not careful. Use the call to get in a bit more attack. Use the special to just put in a little opportunity lob when I'm not comfortable with actually standing there and firing. And then we win. Okay. Let it go to pieces a little bit there, but pulled it back. No problem. Bad run is no excuse for not putting in the effort. Another diamond at least. Only had the one health upgrade so far this run. I keep good visiting Karen's shop thinking I'm going to get the opportunity to buy one, but uh, that never works out. And what was I saying about using the Harpy Feather Duster? I wasn't even keeping an eye out for the healing items. Oh well, it's XP for it on another run. Um, we don't want Poseidon. We don't want Athena. Uh, what does a Shattered Shackle do? Yeah, that's not of any use to us this late in the run. Uh, let's go with another extra life. With the Lucky Tooth. Let's keep this run alive as long as possible, even if it is on life support. Oh, you're going to make me put my money where my mouth is, aren't you? I can use this. There we go. Um, I might want to get rid of that. I don't think that's really helpful. Uh, it's it's nice, but it's also going to potentially attract a POM when I would want the POM on something else. What else is there? The call, If I, as long as I keep in the habit of using it, that's fine. Um, the support fire, I think, is working. You know what, so if, if I get rid of this, I'm just getting rid of damage right now. But uh, I'm going to need some decent boons, and I'm going to need them PDQ. Otherwise, this run is in serious trouble. Uh, I do not see myself beating Theseus and Asterius with this build as it stands. Much nicer climate. Uh, what have we got? Okay, the hammer. We'll go with the hammer. As good as a boon. Well, almost. I've learned some interesting thing about the behaviours of strongbows when Hades has been summoning them in a fight. For one thing, they're the absolute worst thing that he can summon. For me, at least. Because once they start shooting, they will just keep shooting until you break line of sight. And I'll show you. There we go. So, well, the ones he summons does anyway. It might be something to do with them being elite. These ones only seem to be able to fire one shot and then run. I don't know, maybe he summons it like... Uh, custom versions of uh, the other enemies in the game and behaviours are different. Either way, uh, the strongbows that he summons are complete oh, nightmare. I'll take pretty much anything over a strongbow in the, in the Hades fight at least. Here yeah, they're not too bad. The ones with the shields are the real uh, pains. Your attack bounces. Okay, that could work. Uh, your special deals plus 300 base damage, and it can hurt you. No, 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 no. The way that I play this game, no, no. I don't care if it's fated, no. Your attack seeks the nearest foe and does a bit more damage. This seems like it would produce more damage overall. Uh, not so much against bosses, but if I can do well in the level itself, then I don't need to worry too much about bosses. So, let's try... See if I can get that. So yeah, now I'm ricocheting and I'm producing a load of extra arrows. So my crowd control is is great. My scope for point damage, i.e. winning a boss fight, is less clear. Um, but I don't fancy my chances. <laughs> Well, 
Let's get through to the boss fight first. Never know what I'll see on the way. Maybe there'll be a few uh, a few key boons that I haven't considered yet. Look what I found. Take some nectar. Anything else around here? No. No wells, no troves. Hermes. Okay, Hermes might be helpful. Um, attack speed upgrade is again another little bit of damage upgrade. Uh, I can't say that I'm happy with just a little bit of a damage upgrade. I need a bit more of a sort of effective, cohesive strategy rather than just a little bit more damage. We are well past that point. Ooh. This uh, ricochet and produce a shitload of arrows strategy is working very nicely though. Okay, there's a well there. That might actually be helpful. you go. Another wave, this has got to be the last one, right? Someone is still, yeah, I can say alive as an eyeball. I remember with the chariots, once they start going, you've just got to double charge out of the way. You can't, uh, Stun them when they're charging. There he is. Well, that was awful. Um, we'll give Hermes some nectar. He does not actually give you an artifact which uh, summons him. Uh, his art, well, his keepsake, I should say, does something slightly different. Uh, whenever you clear a room quickly, I think it gives you a bonus chance to dodge. That is the sort of dodge where you negate a hit. You can dash more times in a row. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Um, greater evasion. I'm not actually certain if that's right for this build, but and I think I need healing more than I need Poseidon. Uh, and there is no healing. I can. Ooh, let's see. So I could get the boon, and I could get the darkness for a bit of healing, or I could get the darkness, and I could get the palm, and try and polish up what I already have. The boon is of course random, I'm being offered Athena and another Palm. I don't value Athena for this build, but the this run seems determined that I will be using Athena. Regardless of how many middle fingers I give it. I just need something on my main attack. Ah, uh, let's roll the dice. Oh, for God's sake! What do I have to do to get rid of you? Um. So I don't have any boons with knockback effects other than my special. So that's a waste of time for synergy. Because I don't need the special. That, we've seen how all that works. So yeah, this, this, this was... Thanks Poseidon, this is complete crap. I'll take that just to fill out the fated choice. Cheers, uncle. Yeah, cheers. You could have just got me a in maroon sweater. I'm tempted to go with Artemis just to try and get something. Um, I'll go with Pom. So yeah, I'm, I'll do fine on these levels, but against Asterius and Theseus, this is this ain't gonna fly. I'm going to get there if I'm not careful. I hate these things. Focus them down. Pay attention to where they are. Sadly, those crystals always have to take priority. Call in. Some backstab damage. Nice. Power of Olympus. No. That's a really, really poor bonus for one palm. I'll go with that. Stronger still. Again, I'm just getting bits more damage. I need lots more. Uh, more health. Yeah. Something's amiss. Oh, hello. Thought you could just get away. 
Thanatos. Is this the first time that we've seen death on these runs? Right, so... Oh, dodged into the damn thing. So, what we have to do is basically uh, kill more enemies than Thanatos. That is not going to happen with this build. That lack of point damage, that inability to just do loads of damage quickly, means that he will quite happily get rid of all of these high hit points enemies really, really easily before we can do anything to them. And that means that we don't get the bonus. Uh, when you beat a room with Thanatos, if you manage to if you manage to actually beat his score, which again we haven't been able to kill a single enemy, uh, and he's on nine. If you can beat his score, he will give you another cent he'll give you a centaur heart. And given that the reward of this room was a centaur heart anyway. <sighs> Awful, awful weapon for that room. There was no way I was ever going to um, beat Thanatos with that build, so I'm not going to beat myself up too much about that. I did, however, take a lot of damage in what was ultimately a hopeless fight where I should have just run away a lot and let Thanatos kill them all. So I'll bear that in mind for the future. If your strat means that you're not going to be able to beat Thanatos, just don't even try. You left. I left when it was... That's more motivating. Okay. Um, random thing? Maybe. Let's see if we can wash away a boon. No. No. Your boons are not going to go deal damage to bosses. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Uh, and we'll take a fateful twist. Great, so now we're moving. Icor. So now we're moving really fast. Okay, I'll take the palm. Again, I'm just looking for something, anything. Something I can work with here. I need to make good use of cover so that they can't attack me whilst I'm getting rid of the eyes. Somehow, I need to factor that in as well with actually killing the ones that aren't eyes yet. I'm guessing there's going to be another wave after this. Just like how long it takes to kill one of those eyes gives you an idea of how little damage we're doing at the moment. An Exegriff isn't a particularly low damage weapon, we just not really had the synergies. Oh, we've had the synergies and I've not been seeing them or using them. I mean, that special is doing a lot of damage, but it's really difficult to work that special in, and you can only ever have one projectile in the air at a time. So again, if you're trying to actually take down enemies quickly, it is not helpful. And there's an example of why the butterflies are such a problem, because I let so many of them build up and as I was dodging around, I was just dodging into ones that I'd previously dodged. Uh, special deals more damage and knocks foes away, but make that... I think, yeah. If I'm playing in my outs, that's my out. I'm not going to get a boon that's going to magically descend from Olympus and make everything better. So, yeah. Okay. Got to focus. Yeah. I think I go for that. Um useless. Absolutely useless. Useless, but not absolutely useless, but is definitely not going to give me what I need. Um, I'm on so little health that if I die here, it's not going to matter too much anyway. But let's make sure that that doesn't happen. Oh, great. I think it's going to happen. <laughs> I 
the very least, again, this is not a build that is going to be able to slay foes quickly. So, yeah. Nah. I'm not going to feel too bad about that one, um, in spite of Hades' little jab there, because that build was just not working. Worked really well early on, could clear out the levels, but it just didn't have enough raw damage. Trying to go Poseidon for the main attack build was an awful, awful choice. Just did not work. Athena is just, I think, pretty much useless in general. Unless your weapon already does something with crits, I don't see why you would ever pick Athena over anything else. Uh, maybe I'm just being, feeling salty because I got f um, those two thrown at me that entire run and neither of them were suitable. So, yeah, maybe a little bit of salt, but... I think on previous runs I've said I don't value Athena. I do really value Poseidon, but I've obviously learned a lesson here that Poseidon is not going to be universally helpful. So... How about the lament? Oh, fancy. Yeah, sadly Orpheus doesn't sing anymore. And after that? Oh, so yeah, we'll do another Exegriff run, and again, it's also, as I've, as I've said in the past, uh, Exegriff is a weapon I don't use very often because I just don't like it, so I might just need to get better with it. Uh, I'm not going to, again, worry too much. Somewhat dwelling beast so turn in the what we got. We get some nectar and some gems. Excellent. Well, we'll see what we do next run. We've got uh, all of the basic weapons unlocked. No doubt that the option to unlock aspects will be coming very soon, maybe even in the next episode. But there's only one way to find out. See you then.